America is in deep shit, and um, and, cha- and changing our direction will require unprecedented collective action. We must we must do no less than change important aspects of how we live and work together in in, in our daily lives, and over um we overhaul the societal systems of which we are a part of. To do so requires finding out new ways to participate in our self-government and to fulfill the responsibilities that we have towards one another as members of a free society. That demands we improve the methods of how we use of what we use to educate, inform, engage, and empower ourselves in our daily lives. The most difficult aspect of making this investment will be finding the time to do so. We should treat ourselves we should treat ourselves um as a citizen's work like jury duty, but not but not by compelling participation, but by accepting it as a civic duty, a significant personal priority. We also could create a few new public holidays to allow people to step back a little from our economic systems drive for efficiency and co- and competition and spend more time strengthening the community and doing the work of a citizenship. That's a new par- um, paradigm for, for, um, for a paradigm for a country that can't even bring itself to make Election Day a holiday. Today, some in religious groups lament the loss of membership in their faith commu- in, in their faith um, communities, and it, and they attribute it to a few um, to a fewer people observing the Sabbath, not devoting a day to spiritual and religious activity. Those no longer participating often say that the traditional practices don't feel relevant in today. They want new ways to develop, understand, and express their spirituality and faith. Perhaps our current methods for contributing to our communities and governing ourselves are are analogous. Uh, Maybe the ways that they provide for participation no longer have meaning and and consequently aren't a priority for many. Voting, communicating with elected officials, and volunteering time in a community service and contributing money, demonstrating in peaceful protest are among the most uh, among the methods Americans use to express the community membership and citizenship. Maybe we need to modernize these engagement choices by creating a new opportunity, including a foundation for a system for a systemic change. The America in in a in one room experiment, which is conducted which was conducted last September, demonstrated the process that we should try as soon as our battle against COVID nineteen allows. The Stanford University effort informed and engaged 500 voters in a small group discussion about major issues, immigration, health care, foreign policy, the environment, and the economy. Significant effort went into preparation, particularly in selecting people who represented America's diversity and ensuring the nonpartisanship and the framing of issues. Um, these results were um, were that the particip- pe- participants learned as they deliberated a tough, complicated problems in a civil, substantive way. They listened to each tele- to, they listened to each other respectfully, asked questions, shared experiences, and got to know one another. As a result, some shifted their opinions on policies and, and issues. Extreme positions lost support among most of the participants on both sides of the political spectrum. They found more common ground. America in one room involved citizen delegates from across the country for several days. Their travel, rooms, and meals were all paid for, and each participant received an uh, on a, an uh, on a, on a, on a the process was thoughtful and, ide- uh, and ideologically balanced. An effort to build community, common agreement, and citizenship across our country using this method is not realistic under any current paradigms and, and priorities, yet it is time that we tried, recognizing that we must be open to big changes. Our public universities could take the lead, utilizing publicly funded endowments to create pr- pr- processes for citizen engagement derived from the American, from the America in One Room example. Community colleges... Elementary schools, high schools, and community centers should be, or, or could be, the venues for for big gatherings. No honor, no honor, travel, or other stipends would be provided. At least initially, participants would be local. Given the diversity of our public universities, a wide variety of approaches to problems might emerge. The COVID nineteen pandemic has tested America and amplified the consequences of inequalities that many evidently have accepted in our society. We have failed with that test, with more than 160,000 Americans dead from the virus and counting. Other societies appear to have fought the pandemic with far more competence and compassion. Significant income, wealth, education, and health care inequalities have been taking a toll on many Americans for years. Now the virus has amplified the consequences of these inequalities, resulting in more death, sickness, and economic hardship for most. Our inability to work together and reform our societal systems of values, politics, economics, and education sets us up for failure. Divisions have amplified the inequalities, particularly when it likes to when it when it comes to opportunities. Our misuse of technology hasn't helped. It influences the functioning of systems, abstract in reality. 
facilit facilitating hyper-individualism, en enabling demagogues, and weakening a sense of shared responsibility. Too many Americans today are poorly informed, easily manipulated by, by lies, like especially by faux news, cyn cynical and increasingly tri tri tribal. Those characteristics help sustain the political dysfunction that results in a failure to act collectively. We have stopped trying to, pr to perfect the partnership between people that made America. Historian John Meacham observed, The war between the, ide between the ideal and real, between what's right and what's convenient, between the larger good and personal interests, is the contest that unfolds in the soul of every American. Our collective responses in that contest can be called the soul of our nation, demonstrations of what we, the people, really value. In December of 1776, revolutionary Tom, Thomas Paine famously wrote that these are the times that, that try men's souls. He also said that that what we obtained to, what that what we obtain that what we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. How how dear to us are simple competence and compassion in the way that we govern ourselves? How much do we value our neighbors' equality of opportunity for human dignity and justice? It's a part partnership between people that requires commitment to one another. That which we call citizenship too ideal, inconvenient, and 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 insufficiently beneficial to renew it. By action or inaction, we answer these questions, and in doing so, our souls are being tried, and consequence and consequently, so is America's. So, if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Ben Mike, and also hit that notification bell, um, so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.